Good morning, guys. So today, I come to you with a pimple patch in my nose. <laughs> I forgot that I put that on there. Um, even though I just did it less than an hour ago. So as you can tell, my kitchen is a complete and utter disaster. So that's mainly what today's video is going to be focusing on, but it's also going to be just a good old vlog. It is Sunday and it's 8.51. We're not going to be going to church today. Ella is not feeling good. She, this kid is worn out. I do not blame her. I am out as well. And I'm worn out just from looking at the next week's calendar from last week, from the week before, from these past couple of months, and then looking at next week's calendar. I'm so tired already. Um, but I have... I have a lot to do. Right now I am making a cup of tea for myself. Um, I'm having the gingerbread celestial tea. Um, gingerbread spice herbal tea from celestial. And I'm putting in a little bit of silk soy beverage for coffee and literally a teaspoon of sugar because I really want something sweet right now, but I don't have any fruit to eat right now, and I really don't have something like super unhealthy, so I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar in, and hopefully that that helps. Again, please ignore the disaster around my plate, but here's my breakfast. I have a cup of egg whites, an egg, two pieces of whole wheat, whole wheat toast with some butter on them, and my tea.
All right, so the kitchen is nice and clean now. I'm gonna light my Christmas in the Great Hall candle, make it smell all Christmassy in here. Probably gonna dust a little bit in here just because it gets very, very dusty with all the electronics and stuff like that. And then I'm going to keep working on my scarf, listening to sticks. It's gonna be good. All right, so it is several hours later. I ate about half of this tub, which is, see, it's 150 calories for a half cup serving. This is 500 mils, so I probably had 250 mils, so 300 calories. Not the healthiest snack, but it's dairy-free, so hopefully it won't break me out. Hey guys, it's several hours later. I finally clipped my bangs back because they were getting really frustrating and making me have a weird head shape. I mean, I have a weird head shape as it is, but it doesn't need to be any weirder. Um, I wanted to leave this video on a little bit of a mom hack. Oh, also I changed into a sweatshirt because I had to go outside for a little bit. It was awful. Um, <laughs> so, let me get comfortable. So you saw me kind of setting up my calendar. That's just like, that was just like the beginning of my calendar. Those are just the things that are kind of popped in there from me furiously typing them in whenever I'm making plans with somebody because since having Ty gone, my brain is a critic. <laughs> I think only one person on this planet will understand that. <laughs> And it's still true to this day. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I laugh too hard now. I'm an idiot. Anyway, basically I wake up earlier than Ella does always. <laughs> she loves her sleep and she needs her sleep and I'm not going to ever begrudge her that. Um, but, oh my goodness guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Oh. I'm so tired. Basically what I do before she wakes up is I write a list of all the things that we need to do on Sunday. I have a couple of like key things and obviously if we have any like solid plans that we need to do on Sunday, those will go on the list. Um, but overall, I generally try not to pack our Sunday full of things because I want to have the option to go out and get groceries if I need to or, um, you know, and mainly be able to like stay at home and clean the house and go to church and stuff like that. So I went and I made um, a list. We do a lot on Sundays, but I try not to overwhelm us. Um, you know, stuff like even like setting up the calendar and setting up the weekly cleaning schedule. Those are on here, taking out the trash, um, just so that we again start fresh for Monday. Um, Ella needed to paint some ornaments for her classmates so that they'll be done before Christmas break. Um, the laundry, organizing the fridge, prepping Ella's lunches, um, cleaning the living room, stuff like that. So um, I also will write notes like you'll see, you might be able to like see here, like I've written some notes um, down because again if I don't write it down it just goes out of my brain so I'll just scribble notes on here. But the big thing is that I've been doing, and I've been doing this for about a month and a half, I haven't spoken about it yet because I didn't know if it was going to work, honestly. Um, this house is quite large and it is a lot to keep up with, it's a lot to clean, and especially because I feel like no room goes untouched really, probably the only room that really goes untouched at this point, like while Ty is gone is Ella's room, and then the guest room obviously when we have guests they go in there but otherwise it's just a library and I'll just go in there to read sometimes and that's really it honestly um so um what I'll do is I will in order to keep up with everything and also to include Ella in the maintenance and of the house um I will write down all the things that I know that need to get done this week or that I want to tackle this week and then I write down the days of the week and her and I will sit down together and I let her choose what days we do things. Sometimes I'll have to like do something 
on a certain day or something like that um, for whatever reason <laughs> and then I'll just write that in but and sometimes she'll go and sometimes she'll do one thing a day and sometimes she'll choose multiple like hallway and stairs plus the guest room is going to be on Friday perfectly fine with me um and then there we also have kind of a understanding that every single night we clean the kitchen together and we make sure that the living room's tidy and the living room generally doesn't get too crazy but sometimes the dogs will have like chewed the fluff out of stuffies and the blankets need to be tidied up the couch needs to kind of be poofed back up again so I always want to make sure that when I come down in the morning everything looks clean and fresh and the living room and the kitchen are my two big spots for that the dining room generally gets cleaned after dinner so technically we clean it every single night but it's not that big of a hullabaloo really um and the kitchen you know making sure that the kitchen is nice and clean and that the dishwasher is running because then in the morning our kind of standard cleaning in the morning is emptying the dishwasher together and um making our bed together so this has really really I think kind of hit home for Ella and shown her how much work goes into keeping the house clean because I'm cleaning we are cleaning pretty much every single day obviously she is not responsible for the cleanliness and maintenance of the house that's my job but um, I do involve her in things and she will have at least one or two jobs within that room so for the guest room on Friday, for instance, she chose, you know, guest room on Friday. Her job is probably going to be folding up the blankets and sheets that I washed and putting them into the basket that's in there for our guests. Or um, pushing all the books back and wiping the bookshelf down so that there's no dust. And then I'll go back and I'll pull all the books back up. Um, or watering the flowers that are in there like that we I have a cactus in there um watering the cactus that's in there um what else um just kind of straightening out the there's a couch cover over the um pull out sofa that's in there that guests sleep on so just kind of straightening out the couch cover wiping off the end table making sure that the lamp doesn't have any dust on it stuff like that um so again she's not just cleaning all this all by herself but we are doing it together and there it used to be that she would get so upset if I couldn't if I had to go clean something or if I was like super tired from a full day she would get pretty upset and aggravated with me and now I can't tell you how many times she'll be like oh my gosh mom like the house looks so nice or like thank you so much for cleaning the house up or like you know I'll go and I'll you know, I'll make the bed by myself in the morning sometimes if we're in a rush and she'll be like, oh, thank you so much for making the bed that helps out so much. Like she has been just so nice about things and so much more aware of the time and effort that goes into things. It's crazy. Um, you know, and again, she's seven years old, so she is able to help out a lot and it's been invaluable. So I highly suggest if you are maybe struggling to have your kids help with chores or, you know, I think that a lot of times parents will just be like, oh, like, go unload the dishwasher or go load up the dishwasher. That for us doesn't necessarily work. It works a lot better if we do things together. But in general, I will start to help her and then as we get further and further, I will go and do other jobs and then come back and help her and go do something else and come back and help her. And eventually she's doing things by herself um, and she's learning as well, you know, where stuff goes, how to put things away, how to put things in the dishwasher. And um, I highly suggest that if, you know, because again, none of these rooms are disasters or anything like that. So it's not like, we're doing a major declutter clean overhaul every single day of the week it's literally like you know monday tomorrow is bathrooms which means that the toilet is going to get cleaned and which ella will do because she doesn't mind cleaning the toilet i mean i don't mind cleaning the toilet either but it's something that she actually likes doing um i think it's satisfying to actually see the toilet being clean <laughs> um and cleaning up the mirrors washing out the sink making sure that the drain's not clogged sweeping the floor if we have to like 
that's really it making sure we have clean towels like it's not a crazy long process at all um so I think that getting your kids involved and not just getting them involved to like have this like you know you will help out with the house but showing them number one look how nice look how good of a job you did like wow amazing like this place looks so nice and also having them take pride in their job that they've just done and also showing them and teaching them life skills and you know how much work it takes without putting the burden of work on them necessarily so I just want to leave that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was kind of all over the place, but when are my vlogs not? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!